as you're now getting closer and closer to the weekend of the draft, how much more do you feel like things have been solidified for you guys? Well, it's exciting. You, you want to add as many good people that are good football players that are going to add to the culture and the foundation of uh, that's here. You want to add as many as you can. And, and it's whether they're veterans, whether they're younger in their career, you want to keep adding players that we have a clear vision for. And so we think we've been able to do that. And so we're excited to go and add some more players on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're inside the war room and you guys are on the clock and it may or may not be the number eight pick. Can you kind of talk to us a little bit about the process of moving around if you want to, trading up, trading down? What does that look like for you guys, not just in that moment, but right now as well? So we've had those conversations over the last several days, internal and then with other teams, um, other general managers and, and, and other uh, coaches talking about teams in front of us, teams behind us, and we have those conversations. And, and, and you want to be as prepared as possible when you're on the clock. So when you get that call, it's a, you know exactly what it is. You've already talked about the parameters of the deal. And where you think is, if these particular players are there at this point, we'll move up. If these are the players we're looking at, we'll move back. You game all that out. You have so many, uh, it's exhaustive having all the conversations of all the different scenarios but you want to do as much of that as you can when you're in the room so you're prepared in that moment. And again, whether you're moving up, whether you're moving back, there's a lot of good players in this draft and we're going to be really excited about what we get. Is there a touch point that you find that you actually get a lot of information about a player? Is there a point that you're like, you know what, this is the point that I really value as a general manager? So I would say what I value the most over everything is sitting down one-on-one -on -one and uh, talking to that particular area scout that did all the work or talking to that particular national over the top scout or talking to Kyle or one of the directors or that's what's most important because you have to understand that when that time period whenever the head coach and the GM me and author generally do the meetings together whether we're at the combine whether we're at that player school or whether we're in person and so that's great, but there are a lot of people that that are communicating with these players on different levels, and we have to trust that. The area scouts, all the work that they put in, all the information they've gathered, and again, have a lot of trust and confidence in our people in the building. And so it's all a part of it. Everything matters, but you really have to trust the people that have really put that work into it. That's something that Arthur spoke about as well, and y'all said it and you said it, this is gonna be a difficult 53 man to make, yes. whether you're a veteran, whether you're a rookie. Is that what y'all set out to build? The very first day when y'all got in here, we were like, we want to create this environment where it is difficult to get on this team. Yeah, iron sharpens iron like man sharpens man. And the other mindset we have, Tori, is we always look at it like the players that are, the 90 players that are here, they're not just competing with the 90 players here, they're competing with the other 31 teams, players outside the building, because we have a lot of confidence and it is, it's 365, 24 seven, we're constantly looking to improve this roster and, and build this roster. So there could be a player outside the building that we, we, we bring in, we're, we're evaluating all the other rosters. And so it's a, we want to be very competitive and we want, because it's gonna bring out the best in, in the people and the cream really rises in competitive situations.